Now to a warning for dog owners, a mysterious respiratory illness is leading to severe sickness, even death in some cases. Now vets are advising people to keep their dogs away from other dogs. NBC4's Tony Shin with details. And we have a large latte. At Olive Avenue Market in Redlands, you can get all kinds of delicious coffees and pastries. And your pets are welcome too. There we go. That's because co owner Sonia Razi loves dogs, including her best friend, Winky. And we have a lot of people that walk their dogs, and a lot of dogs in the neighborhood. And I live right next door, so I see them all, and I, it's kind of all become neighborhood friends. And with the nearby Redlands Animal Shelter filled with dogs needing good homes, Sonia and other business owners wanted to help clear the shelters by holding a fundraiser called Santa Paws on December 9th. Uh, I had a lot of uh, fun and awesome things planned, but the, this virus came about and we don't feel comfortable doing it right now. It's too risky to have all these animals congregate in one location. Veterinarians are calling it a mysterious respiratory dog illness that usually starts with a cough. It's contagious and has already killed dogs in more than a dozen states, including California. Instead of coughing for a couple weeks, they're coughing for, you know, up to a couple months. Dr. Christian Joyce is the veterinarian medical director at Humane Society of San Bernardino Valley. She hasn't seen any cases yet, but she is watching out for it because the respiratory illness can eventually turn into pneumonia. And right now, normal treatments aren't very effective. But what vets are finding right now is that it's not responsible to the antibiotics we would typically reach for first to treat a typical pneumonia. A lot of times vets are having to reach for stronger antibiotics in order to, to treat these pets. And this is exactly why Sonia decided to cancel the Santa Paws event. She's still planning to reschedule in the coming months, hoping there will be some type of stronger treatment for the illness. Sonia is also hoping people will adopt dogs from the Redlands Animal Shelter because they could certainly use a nice, loving home for the holidays. You know, they just want a home too. In Redlands, Tony Shin, NBC4 News.